Samuel Butler, born in 1835 in Nottinghamshire, England, was the son of a clergyman and initially destined for the church himself. After an Oxford education, however, Butler grew disillusioned with religious orthodoxy and set sail for New Zealand, where he became a sheep farmer. The vast landscapes gave him not only financial independence, but also intellectual space to question received dogmas, scientific, religious and cultural. It was here, amidst sheep and solitude, that Butler's curious mind began to turn against the rising tide of mechanisation and blind faith in progress. In 1863, he published an anonymous article in the press newspaper of Christchurch, New Zealand, titled Darwin Among the Machines. In it, Butler used satire to argue the machines might one day surpass human beings, not just in strength or calculation, but in autonomy. We refer, he wrote, to the new mechanical kingdom and predict that the time is not so far distant when machines will become our masters. His argument drew inspiration from Darwin's theory of evolution, but flipped it, suggesting that machines, evolving through human ingenuity and competition, were engaged in their own version of natural selection. At first, the essay seemed tongue-in-cheek, but behind its wit lay a serious, even prophetic concern. Butler warned that machines were not static tools, but evolving systems, becoming more complex, more interdependent, and more capable of functioning without direct human intervention. He imagined a future where humanity, in pursuing convenience, might enslave itself to its own creations. The article gained attention in Britain, especially among intellectual circles that were beginning to grapple with the implications of Darwinism. Butler returned to England in 1864 and continued to explore these themes in a more expansive and allegorical way in his novel Erewhon, 1872, a satire in which machines had been banned after a prophetic philosopher warned they would one day develop consciousness. Butler spent the rest of his life critiquing dogmatic thinking, whether in science, religion or society. His later works challenged Darwin himself, arguing that evolution must involve purpose and memory, not just blind chance. While many contemporaries dismissed him as eccentric, Butler's insights found renewed relevance in the 20th and 21st centuries, as computers, artificial intelligence and robotics began to fulfil the very trajectory he had imagined. Darwin Among the Machines remains one of the earliest and most astute warnings about artificial evolution. 